Yeah, hi there, this is uh, TuxAuto.com. Welcome on my video channel. Caused by a couple of uh, questions on my blog and via email, I decided to do a video on Lightroom collections, including the uh, smart collections and the collection sets. If you're working with Lightroom on a regular base, you might as well know all these features, but it might make a little bit of sense to sort those uh, feature and mention them uh, again. So let's get into it and go to the desktop PC. Okay, here we are in uh, Lightroom and my images. And here I want to show you the uh, power of collections and smart collections. And you see here that I already use a couple of collections, but before we go into the collections we go first into the folders and that is uh, represents all the folders on my physical hard disk in this case that's an ssd and i want to show you something very shortly let's go for example in this folder here that are test images i shot with the uh, 7.5 millimeter lower lens but uh, just to be complete you can use a folder like this one here right click on it and here you can create a collection from it with the same name as the folder that's no problem at all because in the uh, collections you can later on rename the collection as you like click this away now the reason here you see only those four entries is that i activated oops that i activated the uh, solo mode and as you can see here i use quite a whole bunch of collections okay we go here on top right click again and here you can either create a collection a smart collection or a collection set here you can define the sort order either by name or by kind that is uh, collection sets then uh, smart collection or the uh, static collections and here is if the collection filter is shown that is the field here if i click this away then the input dialog will disappear okay but we activate that here and now we go to the uh, collections i use here like this one and here this the first one is a collection set that is uh, yeah, like a sort of uh, folder, which means it can can contain other collections, either statical collections or smart collection. And as, as you can see here, it even can contain other collection sets. So only with the usage of static collections and the uh, collection sets, you are able to organize your photographs as you need or as you like and that's a pretty fl flexible way to get into your images and find them back and the uh, biggest advantage of the collections is that you can uh, place one image in a whole bunch of uh, collections that is no problem so you can uh, make a collection for landscapes hills and rivers like that and if you have a image uh, with the hills the river and others then you can place this image into the hill collection and the uh, river collection and so on and so forth okay i already defined a statical collection here with our birds we go to all photographs and go to the end what you have to do is uh, manually add the images you want to the collection you just mark them that's pretty easy like you probably used to like in uh, windows go here make a right click and then say add selected photographs to the collection and now we have uh, three images in this collection there is another way or should i say another way with two alternatives and that is we right click again and make this collection here to a target collection now you see here the little plus sign on the side go to all photographs and now you have two different alternatives the first one is to click here in the little circle symbol to add them to the collection you just defined as a target collection 
that is method one or you go to an image and just hit the key B and then it will add the image to the target collection and in addition you get a text message on the screen. But now we want to talk about the smart collections. The uh, smart collection, the main difference is that you don't have to add manually any image to these collections because they are added automatically depending on the definitions you make for this collection. If you do a right click here you see edit the smart collection and uh, like this one here for example I could uh, make a definition for rating is either equal or greater than uh, three stars and uh, if I would save that it will select all the images from the database which match these criteria. But first of all, I want to show you something. We we'll go to all photographs again and go to the library filter, go to metadata. And here you can see the list of uh, cameras I used or that are in the catalog. You see here 5D, Mark II, a 6D, Mark II, a 7D, a 40D and so forth. And here on the bottom you see my Lumix cameras. Of course, I could use the library filter to, like, for example, say, show me all the images captured with the 6D Mark II. And I could also say, in addition, show me all the uh, photographs captured with the focal length of 24 millimeter, and so on and so forth. But um, just imagine, so we don't use keywords, you have can try this out with your EXIF metadata if I want to filter out or, or have any images in the smart collections that were captured with the ultra wide angle lens. First of all, I use here full frame APS-C and MFT cameras. So what's meant by an ultra wide angle lens is a little bit different. Usually we say that an ultra wide lens, wide angle lens is everything less 24 millimeter in focal length of course for a full frame and for the MFT sensor that would be everything or every image shot with a focal length less than 12 millimeter. Okay I prepared a short smart collection go to edit and now you can see here take that away again here you have the plus sign to add another criteria to the selection and if you have more than one in that you can delete this criteria by clicking the minus sign and there is another sort of hidden function if you press the alt key then you see the change here in the symbol and if you click that we have a rectangle around this condi uh, condition here and now we can say we take not the rating, we take the camera info, in this case camera, say it begins, starts with, and since all the Lumix camera start with a capital D, we set this one. And since we want to have all images listed or shown which are shot with the ultra wide angle lens, we now make a second condition, and that is focal length, in this case less than 12 millimeter. And now we have to define here the condition up here. Any of the following condition that would mean uh, or junction, but we need all of the following. So we only need images that are shot with a Lumix camera and shot with a focal length of less than 12 millimeter. And if we delete that with the uh, three star rating and say save, we should have all the images shot with a Lumix and less than 12 millimeter in focal length, like here with the 9 to 18 shot at 9 millimeter and so, so on. But I prepared a smart collection which does what I want. And that is if we look in the condition. That's basically the same I showed you. Here is the definition for the Lumix camera. And since there were, was no other way to filter out the camera name, 
I had to do it separately for the 5D Mark II and for the 6D, but here I use the 5D Mark II and uh, focal length less than 24, and the same is true here for the 6D Mark II. So now with this smart collection will show every image shot with the ultra wide length and sort of not depending on, on which uh, sensor size the capture was done. And if I say save here, and go to all photographs and go back here. And now we have all the images shot with an ultra wide lens, like here with the 5D Mark II. And I guess that was the 17 to 40 millimeter. And here, if we go back all the way down here with the Lumix and the 7 to 14 millimeter. And if we go up, we find our shots taken with the lower 7.5 millimeter back again. So the smart collection works as expected. As you can see, the um, management of your images just by the collection is very flexible. And if you consider that uh, the smart collection even allow it to order uh, an image just because of its metadata or the keywords you added, it makes it even more flexible to manage your images. The uh, collection sets are only sort of a, another hierarchy, like a, a file folder, but they make sense too, because then you have another item to order all your collections, and it doesn't play any role if you want to sort in smart collection or the regular collections from Lightroom. Since a couple of versions ago, you can also import your images and right away even place them in either a new collection you define at the import dialog or add them to an already existing collection. And uh, since you can add keywords or keyword sets during the import uh, process, it was almost possible on every time with Lightroom to use smart collections and add images to those smart collections from the import processing. As you could see, I did the example here in the video just on EXIF metadata, but if you consider that EXIF metadata, GPS data, okay, which are part of the EXIF metadata, and keywords on the other hand will give you a very flexible instrument to order your images and to manage them in one Lightroom catalog. And that is why Lightroom is still, to me at least, the number one if you consider what management on the one hand side and image processing on the other. Okay, if you have any questions to collections, smart collections, and collection sets, you can of course place them here in the comments of the video, or maybe better, you place them in the comments to the corresponding blog post. And if this uh, video was a little bit of help to you, you might consider to place a like and might consider subscribing my channel, but then don't forget the bell so you get a notification every time I upload a new video. Okay, that was all for today, and I have to say till the next time, ciao, tuxoche.